Hey everyone, welcome back to the Visually Stunning Movie Podcast. Um, I told you I would be back to talk about the guest list for uh, an event that I'm attending in a couple of weeks and we'll be covering, and that is the Fanboy Expo, as you can see right here. Um, see, they've got uh, several different locations, Vegas, Columbus, Ohio, Knoxville, Tennessee, Orlando, Florida, and Indianapolis, all great cities, all wonderful. Uh, I'm going to use the phrase smaller event here quite a bit, um, not because obviously there are not many of them, but because they are not 40, 50, 60, 80, 100,000 person attendance events. Fair enough. I'm not insulting them. Now, uh, one of the nice things about these smaller events is that you often don't get guests that you might get at the big ones that are more worried about your Marvel, DC, you know, sci-fi superpowers, if you will, celebrities. Um, so as you can see, um, in Las Vegas, which is where I'll be, um, we get we get some guests such as Lee Majors, the Six Million Dollar Man, also Bruce Campbell's father in the Ash vs. E the Evil Dead television series, which was great. Um, you get a reunion from a couple members of the Office, if you're an Office fan. Uh, Tia Carrera, if you're a fan of Wayne's World from back in the day, and she did a lot of other work. Tom Berenger, who it feels like has been in every film ever, um, and who's just great. Uh, Tiffany, if you're an 80s music fan, pop music fan. Uh, Bruce Kulik, uh, this is an interesting pick. Uh, started his career, as you can see, with Meatloaf on the Bad Out of Hell tour. Um, played with Kiss. Uh, he was announced as a guest in Las Vegas um, shortly after the death of Meatloaf, who uh, was originally slated to come. Um, so I think it's nice that they found a way to kind of honor Meatloaf's musical legacy by bringing in another guest that ties into that. Um, so that's that, that's a nice pick. Um, Edward Furlong, if you're a Terminator guy, is also showing up. Sean Patrick Flannery boondocks you gotta love it then we get a couple of uh, kind of behind the scenes folks a little bit um, Barry Lowen and Dorian Kingy um, Lowen uh, Barry Lowen uh, is one of the people that uh, helps bring the Mandalorian Din Djarin, to life in the Mandalorian series on uh, Disney Plus um, Dorian Kingy um, did the work uh, for Cad Bane in the book of Boba Fett I mean, so that's kind of cool. You forget that that not every person that helps bring your fandom to life is the A-lister, the guy out front, the hero. Uh, if you're a if you're a fan of a certain age, you have a reunion from a couple of the Brady Bunch members. Happy Days. Who doesn't love Happy Days? Jimmy Walker. Although I am kind of tired of his uh, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid commercials. Um, the great Fred Williamson, who, if you don't know his name, if you look at him, you you know that you have watched him in a movie. Great action guy, former uh, former pro athlete, uh, just great. And then we get into some uh, some more child actors. Uh, one of uh, uh, Gary Reichel, Jerry Reichel, excuse me, um, subbed in for Jan Brady during the uh, later Brady Bunch variety show years. Um, J.J. Cohen. One of the one of uh, Biff's kind of thugs in uh, Back to the Future, and then of course we get some anime folks. Uh, if you are an anime person, which I am really not, but I know a lot of these titles. So, you know, My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, John Swayze, Dragon Ball, Eric Harlocker, um, Amber Lee Connors, Five Nights at Freddy's, all this good stuff. Olivia Hack. And I know the name Olivia Hack. I just seem to hear that everywhere in this business. Uh, Jenny Kwan is another one. <clears throat> but yeah, so we get a nice mix of all these of these different things. Now, Cat Cressida is another another one I'm familiar with. Now, the reason I said I used the term "small event" um, in relation to uh, Fanboy Expo is because, unlike a lot of bigger events, and again, this is not a knock. This is a feature, not a bug. Um, you get things like these nostalgia reunions and I think what that does is that actually allows um, 
because everyone, no matter how old they are, they they under they know who the Brady Bunch is, but they might not necessarily understand the cultural import of the Brady Bunch or Happy Days. Might you know the Office comes later. There's a huge cultural impact. Um, so I think what these nostalgic type cons and nostalgia lineups do is um, they kind of provide a reminder for the younger fans um, of these things and kind of keep those uh, things alive. Uh, I know uh, in Knoxville, I believe, um, there is a Chips reunion um, uh, starring uh, Chris Pine's dad, Robert Pine, in case you didn't realize that, so there's your tie to now. Um, Little House on the Prairie, another huge cultural milestone in television, uh, but we get a, a reunion there with Miss Melissa Girl. But see, I mean, it's there. Um, Mash, uh, just perhaps the single greatest television show ever to air on television, and the greatest uh, series finale in the history of series finales. Um, and it's still in syndication. You can still watch Mash every single day. That is how important it is. Um, it the Mash TV show lasted five times longer than the Korean War. So, um, yeah. So that's what's great about these nostalgia cons. And again, and I I do not use that term in a derogatory manner. So please don't take it that way. Um, it's just a great way for these smaller cons to get lineups that bring people in, and and they they kind of help past the torch of fandoms and I think that's really great so in two weeks as I said we will be in Las Vegas um, with some good folks uh, that that uh, that I hope to see and uh, perhaps talk to we'll see how mm, the rules are a little dicey on press coverage on that but we'll 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 get that figured out um, but again if you have a chance to go to these smaller events um, that are not you know the, the huge big names these are not you know, fan expo. These are not wizard. These, you know, these are not associated with Comic Con International out of San Diego. If you have a chance to go to them, I highly recommend it because you'll often see people that you might not have had at the forefront of your mind. But when you get there or when you see the lineup, you're like, oh yeah. And that kind of makes you feel a little good. You know, it gives you a happy feeling. It reminds you of something from when you were younger. So, um, looking very much forward to Fan Fanboy Expo in Las Vegas two weeks from now. Um, and uh, we'll have some more coverage from there. Uh, we should have one more uh, article or one more bit of coverage in the lead up to it. But until we get back to that, uh, don't forget to like us, follow us on social media at VS Movie Podcast. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe. That would be lovely. Uh, again, following us on Twitter is great. Or go right to the website, vsmoviepodcast.com. Throw in your email and you will get emails. Trust me, we don't spam you. You get emails when we post. But if you absolutely want everything, go to Twitter. We post to Instagram. It winds up on Twitter. But if you're on Instagram, you can follow us there too. That would also be great. Take it easy, everyone. We'll be back with some more movies soon. But until then, stay safe. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.